Jeffrey Epstein, MD. I am a facial plastic surgeon who since 1993 has been specializing in the treatment of hair loss. Uh, I've been a witness but also have been an active participant in the evolution of techniques, things that were talked about today or are talked about today that seem like they're ancient, th ancient therapies were things that I learned on originally and now have been part of the whole evolution. Anyway, I practice in Miami. I also have an office in New York City. Um, I'm married to uh, Dr. Gordon Akuka uh, Epstein, who is a plastic surgeon from Serbia, who we both have a, we came together originally. She was looking for a doctor to visit in the United States, and fortunately, Google brought us together. She found me, and that was six and a half years ago, and so now we do quite a bit of collaboration. She has a little more youthful energy, um, although maybe she's captured my youthful energy, but she has at least the, a younger pedigree, and uh, together we do quite a bit of, um, it's uh, sort of new, new type work that we're doing, and particularly in relates to not necessarily hair transplants, or some transplants, more state-of-the-art work like FUE, but also in some of the newer cellular therapies, which of course is one of the hot new areas, and everyone's very interested in it. They're all historically based. And I think you have to look at what's happened over the last five years and then sort of project that into the future. The things that have been the most exciting over the last several years has been um, more advanced FUE, follicular extraction technologies, that permit not just more aesthetic results and less scarring of the donor area, but also we're now able to harvest grafts, from, for example, from the beard, the chest, and the back. It's called body hair transplantation. And we've been doing a lot of research in that, a lot of work on that, and now the next step is to continue to expand our use so we could potentially take body hair, um, such as, for example, the chest or the back or beard, and get two to three times the amount of hairs that we can get from an individual's scalp. So it's not just for individuals who have had prior transplants and are running out of donor hairs because of scarring because it wasn't done properly, but this is actually a whole new source, a resource. So what we're looking at in the future is I think better technologies for harvesting those grafts. So that's the first thing um, is body hair transplants. The evolution in terms of, uh, of transplants to like the beard and eyebrows, um, I think that it's right now at its pinnacle. I think the techniques are going to get more refined. It's obviously the technique is growing significantly in popularity, but I don't think there's a lot more that's going to be done in terms of more developments. So I think the last step or the final frontier is sort of like this biocellular, cellular therapies for treating hair loss. Um, and those are basically, and to put it um, simply, this is what we usually think of as, 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 um, as stem cells which we've been able to do, we've been, had the opportunity to do research on, but I think cell therapies are going to offer the promise of treating hair loss at more of its causal level, um, both preventatively, but also with the use of, or, or directed towards changing the biology of the hair follicles so that they grow better hairs, essentially. So that's all a lot of stuff under research. There's a lot of limitations at what's being done because of the limitations that government agencies, uh, particularly in Europe and the United States, put in stem cells research. So we're also using other things like fat, just plain fat, and doing certain manipulations with it, but not creating stem cells, but using the actual fat, which also has a tremendous power to heal for hair loss issues. The value of uh, an international, even though it's an FUE Europe society, um, it brings together people from the Middle East, Latin America, and North America. And I'm, of course, I'm from the latter. Although being in Miami, I sort of cover the Latin North America route. Um, anytime you have, you bring together doctors from not just different countries, but also different specialties. So you have me, like a facial plastic surgeon, then you have some dermatologists, then you have family practice doctors, there's general surgeons, plastic surgeons, there's all these different specialties. And then on top of it all, you have us, you have us all coming from different countries. So you don't have those limitations that you are see at other meetings where it's much more inbred. There's no inbreeding here. You're basically taking a group of almost mutts from different different backgrounds and so the the result is a, a much more dynamic and I think a more um, just a more valuable 
uh, exchange of thoughts and, and, and energies, and so I think it's a great conference. And the way the conference has been put together, uh, particularly, you know, Dr. Basang has done a beautiful job um, inviting a really uh, dynamic group of speakers. So it's been a pleasure to not just be a, a teacher, but also to be a student at this meeting. Well, I'm um, Jeffrey Epstein. MD, I'm a facial plastic surgeon. I uh, have office in Miami as well as in uh, New York City. My main office is Miami. And um, I uh, established the Foundation for Hair Restoration back in 1994. So basically for 24 years I've been specializing in surgical hair restoration. While I do other facial plastic surgery, the great, the lion's share of my practice is in treating hair loss for both men and women. Um, that's what I do.